Deputy President Regathi Gachagua warned that the Mount Kenya region will rebel against any proposal that may recommend a handshake government with the Zimio leader Rayla Odinga. This news spread like wildfire. The matter had already touched off a war of words between him and Mr. Odinga over the ongoing National Dialogue Committee talks at Bomas of Kenya. But Rayla as we know him is a man who doesn't let a big functions like this just slip away. He saw an opportunity to respond. So what did he say? Mr. Odinga didn't hesitate to say that the dialogue initiative was on track but, yes there was a but, a big but, but he wished that this unfit deputy president Gachago would stop badmouthing it. And amid all this, there was an ongoing sitting between government and opposition but Rayla had the guts to talk provokingly to the deputy president. Take it like a man having two side chicks but both side chicks are not on the same page. Obviously an ugly scene would unfold there. The matter has already touched off a war of words between him and Mr. Odinga over the ongoing National Dialogue Committee talks at Bomas of Kenya. Remember Odinga saying the dialogue initiative was on track but wished this unfit deputy president Gachagwa would stop badmouthing it. Well, it seems Gachagwa is learning it the hard way. But Gachagwa spoke to a local radio station. And Gachagwa as we know him is a man who can't keep calm on sensitive issues like this. His reply has sent shockwave across the country. So, what exactly did he say? Let me explain. President William Ruto, his Ugandan counterpart Yauri Museveni, and ODM leader Rayla Odinga convened for crucial talks in Uganda, marking a significant diplomatic endeavor. The rendezvous, captured in photographs shared on social media, portrayed the trio engaged in earnest discussion while traversing a picturesque field, symbolizing the depth of their deliberations. As the images circulated, sparking curiosity and commentary across social platforms, they offered a glimpse into the dialogue unfolding among the prominent leaders. Notably, the captured moments revealed intimate exchanges between between Ruto and Rayla, underscoring the nuanced dynamics at play. Amidst the pastoral setting, where Museveni, a known pastoralist, tends to his cattle, the discussions took place, emphasizing the convergence of political dialogue and rural life. The backdrop of grazing fields and the tranquil ambience added layers of symbolism to the talks, highlighting the intersection between politics and nature. For Ruto and Museveni, the meeting held deeper significance, as it aimed to address long-standing tensions stemming from an oil trade dispute between Kenya and Uganda. The involvement of Rayla Odinga in facilitating Ruto's trip to Uganda underscored the role of diplomacy in resolving complex interstate conflicts. However, the diplomatic efforts faced scrutiny and opposition, particularly from Mr. Gachagwa, who questioned Odinga's motive and criticized the dialogue initiative. Gachagwa's remarks injected a sense of contention into the proceedings, reflecting the broader political landscape characterized by divergent interests and perspectives. In response to Gachagwa's criticism, Odinga defended his stance, emphasizing the importance of national unity and the need for constructive dialogue to address socio-political challenges. The exchange between Odinga and Gachagwa underscored the complexities of coalition building and the inherent tensions within Kenya's political ecosystem. Meanwhile, speculation loomed over the potential outcomes of the talks, with Gachagwa expressing skepticism about Odinga's inclusion in government through a handshake arrangement. His remarks hinted at underlying power struggles and ideological divides within the political arena. Despite the skepticism and discord surrounding the talks, Odinga remained optimistic about the committee's ability to deliver meaningful outcomes, reflecting his unwavering commitment to national development and reconciliation. However, the dissemination of false information, such as the video alleging Ruto's betrayal, underscored the challenges of navigating a landscape fraught with misinformation and political maneuvering. Amidst these developments, Gachagwa's conspicuous silence following Ruto and Rayla's handshake raised eyebrows, prompting speculation about his stance on the reconciliation and its implications for O chairmanship bids. The intrigue surrounding Gachagwa's response added another layer of complexity to an already intricate political landscape, underscoring the multifaceted nature of Kenyan politics.